Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Faith Tai, and I'm here to present to you the charity I'm supporting today. Within four minutes, every children in this room is dead. Assuming we have malaria and we live in Africa, it is truly tragic how every 30 seconds a child dies from such diseases. Now, let's take us back to 1970 Vietnam. Let's pretend that we didn't get to escape to America. There were no medicinal, medicinal or technological advances. Nobody had the high enough education to create medicines, vaccines to prolong life. Adults couldn't live past age 40, let alone children living past the age of 12. Families would be torn apart and life just wouldn't be worth living anymore. This is why we need organizations such as Doctors Without Borders. Founded in 1971, Doctors Without Borders is a nonprofit organization that sends over 20,000 volunteers, whether it be doctors, nurses, or midwives, over to underdeveloped countries so they can help give vaccines to those who do need the health care that their government cannot provide. It's truly amazing because Doctors Without Borders spends 87% of the donations that they receive to actually find treatments, to find the cure, ship vaccines out to these underdeveloped countries rather than spending the money on publicity. Now you're asking yourself, why should I care? Why should I give my precious money to another organization? Well, these 20,000 volunteers are risking their lives and also donating their time and effort to help these people. What many people don't know is that the government, our U.S. government, doesn't protect the volunteers as well as they should. Many volunteers have died due to the foreign governments just blaming them that they're helping the poor and also just plaguing their own society. What we need to do is step in and help out in whatever way we can. You don't need to, be, you don't need to have a medical degree in order to help out someone else. So if you would like to donate to this cause, please go to www.donate.doctorswithoutborders.com. Thank you for listening.